Hi everyone. Today I am going to uh, tell you about uh, data query language. As discussed earlier, there are several types of uh, SQL languages are there. Here data definition language, data manipulation language, here data query language. Today I am going to uh, tell you about data query language. What is this data query language? See, uh, the, the commands of uh, SQL that are used to retrieve the data from databases are collectively called as DQL. Is nothing but uh, uh, all the select statements comes under DQL. Why uh, we use uh, the select statement is used to retrieve the data from the database table. Select is used to fetch the data from database table. Here the syntax is like this. Select column list from table list where conditions group by column list having conditions and order by column list. The same way how we we, will, we were used in uh, earlier sessions uh, select any select statement it comes under DQL. And the next language is uh, transaction control language. Here uh, there are three commands are there. Commit, it is used to uh, save the transactions in the database permanently and uh, rollback. It is used to undo the transactions. Whichever we do earlier, we can undo the these transactions and save point. Here this uh, save point is to create the checkpoints in between transactions to commit or roll back the transactions. I am going to uh, tell you one example here. Here I am doing inserting the records to employees. Let me show you in SQL developer. Here I am inserting records 1358. I am inserting this record. Is taking time okay. okay. Uh, yesterday we created table select start from MP. Now I am going to insert the records. Insert into EMP new values. Uh, one three five eight. Employee name, in 
वन थ्री फाइव नाइन सैलरी कमीशन आई एम एंटरिंग ऑल द वैल्यूज हि जस्ट डेट डिपार्टमेंट नंबर टेन I'm just entering these values. One row insert. Here I'm giving save point here. Save point in nothing but uh, here we already discussed here save points. What are the save points here? to create checkpoints in between the transactions so i given same point here and again i am inserting one more record insert into emp new values 1360 values uh, manager id and commission null and the, the joining date okay. now uh, department number 20 here i am again i am creating one checkpoint here when i roll back the transaction to y see roll back the transaction Up to y. It is already while executing this uh, statement. It is rolled back to the previous uh, checkpoint. See, let us see what happened in this uh, table. only one record is there before that i am entering two records but here it is showing only one record why because i am already uh, using this checkpoint it is roll back to uh, that particular checkpoint here roll back a it is uh, rolls uh, roll back to a then it is uh, the second record is will not allow to enter this into the database this is how we are using this checkpoints here and then last commit if i commit the transaction see here commit complete it is permanently stored in the database and again i am executing this previous statement only one record one record is there i am entering the same record once again and uh, here i am executing this record see two records same records are entering and again i am executing this commit commit complete if i select the same records here it is showing two records like this okay next dcl dcl means data control language here there are two uh, commands are there grant it is used to provide system privilege to the end user and here revoke it is used to remove the privileges from end user what what is grant and what is revoke uh, here uh, dcl commands are used to enforce database security in a multiple user database environment suppose there are two types of dcl commands are there uh, the this those are uh, grant and revoke only database administrators or owners of the database object can provide or remove privileges and a database object 
here sql uh, grant command is used to provide uh, access to the database objects to the users the syntax for the grant command is like this grant privilege name on object name to user or public or role name with grant option here uh, privileges name is used to access uh, right or privilege uh, granted to the user some of the access rights are all execute and select and the object name is the name of an object uh, database object like table view stored processor and sequence here username is uh, is the name of a user to whom an access right is uh, being granted username is the name of a user to whom an access right is being granted here uh, public is used to grant access rights to all users and uh, roles are a set of privileges grouped together with grant option is used to allow a user to grant access rights to the other users like this way dcl commands for example uh, grant select on employee to user so there are uh, so many users uh, in the network uh, admin system admin or owner uh, is uh, giving privileges to one particular user the syntax is like this uh, grant select on employee to user this command grants select permission on employee table to user one and uh, Mm, you should use this uh, with grant option carefully because for example if you grant select privileges on employee table to you to user one using this uh, with grant option then user one can grant select privileges on employee table to another user such as user two then uh, if you revoke the select privileges on employee from user one still user 2 will have a select privileges on employee table so we must um, very careful by using this uh, grant options and here sql revoke command it is used to remove user access rights or privileges to the database objects the syntax will be like this the syntax for revoke command is revoke privilege name on object name from user username for example here revoke uh, select on employee from user i am uh, taking all the privileges from the user the syntax uh, is uh, revoke select on employee from username this command will revoke a select privileges uh, to uh, employee table from user one when you revoke select privileges on a table uh, from a user the user will not be able to select data from the table anymore however if the user has received select privileges on the table from more than one user he can select from the table until everyone who granted the permission revokes it you can't revoke privileges if they were not initially granted by you okay the next topic is after com completing all the languages the next topic is here i am going to discuss with uh, this uh, set operators okay these operators combine the result of two component queries in a single result see here union it is used to combine two component queries in a single result so i am selecting a as a unit here i am going to show you uh, select 
ये from dual union i am combining this two components in single select statement here i am using this as unit unit a and unit b i am using this uh, and from dual okay the same quotations here the re result is because uh, here those are not columns so uh, select a from dual union select b from dual the result is it is combining two components in a single select statement if i give here one more uh, set operator union all again i am adding one more component to my query from dual When I run this script, okay, here, uh, okay, here the result is A, B, C. It is combining all the components in single select statement. The next operator is intersect. these operators combine the result of two component queries in a single uh, result but whereas uh, intersect is used to uh, display all the distinct rows select by both the queries if i use this uh, select a from dual here i'm adding a union select b from dual when i add this uh, two components with union it is giving a b here i am again adding two more components select a unit from dual and select c unit from dual it is also giving a and c but it is giving all the distinct rows which component is common in both the um, both of these uh, statements here ab is already here and ac is already here which is common component a so that's why it is giving a component if you want to show me then uh, i will show you here i am intersect or you can use any on uh, um, any quotations here any uh, select union here uh, double quotation marks from uh, dual when i run this uh, script the result is what will it give it give 
a and c by it is giving a and c Union, uh, here uh, union, okay. Distinct uh, components are here. Why uh, it is given A, B. It is given A and B, and here when I use uh, A and C, The result is here, here um, let me check once again. Mm. I will tell you this later. Okay. When come to this uh, minus operator. This operator uh, combine the result of two component queries in a single query. Uh, minus it is used to display all the distinct rows select by the first query but not the second. Here uh, select A from dual. Union uh, as usual. Uh, uh, A, B it is giving union. And then A and C minus. Minus means uh, it is... Um, Removing second query components, all the distinct rows select by the first query but not the second query. A, B is already there and here A and C is uh, second component. It is removing the second query result. So only uh, what is common here? A. It is removing A. The remaining, what is the component is remaining B. It is only giving first query. So it is given uh, B, B component in our output. Okay. Next, I am going to uh, start another topic here. Here, uh, I'm going to start uh, single row functions. After completing this les lesson, you should be able to do uh, describe various types of functions available in SQL and um, you know, character, number, date functions in SQL uh, select statement. Describe the use of conversion functions. Actually, what is this uh, function, SQL function? SQL function is a subprogram which perform calculations on data and it is also modify individual data items. It is um, taking arguments as an input and it is performing some action and it is going to give result as an output. And here um, it, it manipulates uh, output for groups of data. And uh, it formats the dates and numbers for displaying purpose. And uh, here it converts column data type. And uh, they sometimes take arguments and always function has to return a value. 
function has to return a value and there are two types of sql functions are there single row functions and multiple row functions here single row functions are used to operate on single rows only not one uh, one result per row uh, here uh, different types of uh, single row functions are there character type number date conversion and general functions are there and multiple uh, row functions are uh, it manipulates groups of uh, rows to give one result per groups of the uh, row and also it is also called as a group functions here character functions uh, what it means character functions it accepts uh, input value as a character and it can return both uh, character and numeric values and uh, number functions are all already there uh, number functions what it will do it accepts the numeric input value and it uh, return numeric values only and uh, here uh, date functions date functions it is used to convert the date on uh, date data type only and conversion functions uh, it converts uh, value from one data type to another data type there are so many functions uh, which are available in sql nvl and nvl2 nullif kolsky case decode all these are the general functions i'll tell you briefly one by one here uh, what are the uh, single row functions will do it uh, it manipulates the data items it may modify the data types also and it can be nested single row functions can be nested and uh, single row functions accept arguments which can be a uh, column or it can be a um, expression anything okay it can be a uh, it can be used in select where and order by clauses here the arguments can be user supplied constant and um, variable value column names also you can give as a argument and expressions you can give uh, argument and come to this uh, character functions character functions are again uh, div divided into two groups case manipulation functions and character manipulation functions here case man manipulation functions are uh, lower upper and uh, init cap these are used to manipulate the case functions and character manipulation functions are used to convert um, concatenate substrings length of a uh, string if you want to know uh, the length how many letters are there then you can use this length as a function and in string l pad or pad trim replace all these are used to convert uh, character character manipulations here uh, what a lawyer will do the purpose of this lawyer function is converts alphabet character values to lower case i'll show you with examples here select lower of only character functions here these are all character functions what it will do it gives only lower letters see here lower letters the same way you can use uh, means you have to give here a lower letters then it gives only upper alphabets see here and uh, this uh, function i uh, can use in tables also here <coughs> upper of e name
from EMP. All the records are in uppercase. If you use this lower, it gives all the records in lower letters. In the same way, you can use init cap. Init cap means initial uh, letter is is in caps. So initial letter is in caps. The remaining is small letter. The same way you can use the functions here. Concatenate. Here I am using concatenating of uh, function. Select concat e name see e name king president it is concatenating these two columns a okay, single single result substring okay substring here this substring it extracts a string of determined length we will tell you the examples also see here character as i am discussing character functions these functions accept character values and return character values character returns the character here chr what is chr chr returns a character having the binary equivalent to n here uh, select chr 67 means these are all ansi values 67 means ansi standard as per ansi standard 67 it is converting number to char here the number is 67 is converted to char as a c value c c here 67 as a c and as per ansi standards and uh, char 65 is giving a and here char uh, 84 is t combining all the character concatenating into single component see char see cho Let me take this one. See, the result is giving. See, dog. I am given uh, the column name, dummy column, and that is giving. As per stand, uh, ANSI standards, it is giving cat. cat. It is converting numeric value into character functions, character values. So this is how you can use ch chr. 
and the next is concatenate concat is returning character 1 concatenated with character 2 here i am uh, concatenating last name two concatenate you can use uh, two functions in a single query also here uh, two concatenates are used to display as per my uh, requirement here uh, what i want to see here in the output has job categories is here the, okay represented huh um, or otherwise you can uh, just know I, i have discussed with you i am concatenating two columns concat from dual dual is a dummy uh, table or uh, you can call temporary table sometimes it is uh, concatenate is used to only conca uh, uh, use it for character functions only so before that uh, i was not given this single quotes so it is taking as numeric value but uh, it is not giving uh, concatenating here so i was uh, give a uh, single quotes so it is taking as a character this is used to concatenate two character strings here l pad l pad what it will do l pad l pad returns expression left padded to the length n characters with a sequence of characters in expression 2 here uh, right pad is used to return expression right padded to the length n characters with the sequence of characters in expression 2 here l pad l pad is a end of report okay here end of report you can in some reports uh, the users uh, want to display this uh, quotations uh, end of report up to 15 characters with a padding star in my output so i'm giving okay only two stars why because it's already uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 
how we are using this here two two functions in a single query I'm padding with uh, star and thirty five characters, the length of the character strings are twenty okay. five. I'm executing this query. See here the result is thirty-five characters are there. One, two, three. You can count all these alpha, um, all these uh, 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 the length of this string is thirty-five, and it is uh, first L pad. It is doing uh, left padded up to twenty-three characters here. Up to all this up to report. Here, uh, the length of this string is 23, and after uh, 23 is already there. Uh, remaining 12, 12, 12 places: 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, yes, 12. Twelve characters are added right side of the given string. This is how L pad and R pad will work here. The next L trim. Next character functions are L trim. Here it is. It removes from the left end characters. Specified in the set. L trim here. Okay, in the same way. Suppose this is our query, and I what I want to uh, uh, see, I want to trim all the left padded uh, uh, characters. Then. Select L trim. Up to I want to trim one, two, three, four, five, six, six characters. I want to remove six characters. Only no need to give the number of characters here. Only what what is the string is going to remove here. That's it. From dual. So it is trimming the left padded uh, strings. In the same way, you can write uh, R trim also. 
select R trim end of report same uh, as usual I am taking this, this string I am just uh, removing star dot these two uh, characters I want to remove here so you can use like this it is giving the result as uh, end of report not all these uh, star dot ok You can use the L trim and R trim for uh, columns also. Here the L trim and R trim we are using in single query. And here trim, trim removes from both the end characters specified in the set. Okay, I will show you this uh, trim. Select trim of end of report Okay, quoted or not uh, terminated not. Okay. So, <coughs> missing right balances. See, observe here. Uh, trim. Okay. One more parenthesis I need to write here. Missing right parenthesis. Just uh, understand the topic. Okay. You are missing right parenthesis. Okay, I will tell you uh, later. Okay, here uh, the next topic is uh, character functions. Uh, here it is a substring. Substring returns a portion of character in the given string from starting position to the ending position. Here uh, substring is used to um, what I want to do here, I want to cut this uh, uh, sixth letter, um, six letters I want to remove from lighthouse and the remaining five letters I am going to display like this. Uh, 
select substring substring of lighthouse six uh, letters um, removing from starting position it is taking from left to right only by default it is giving only the next five letters only five characters only if i suppose to uh, give minus value minus 4 it is considering from right to left 1 2 3 see what will be the result here let's check here see house and again it is it is uh, considering from right to left it is going from minus 1 position here e minus 2 s minus 3 u minus 4 o and this so give four here no change it all okay from there onwards it is uh, giving result if you use this uh, minus value it is uh, taking from right to left side and if you use this plus value it is taking left to right or you can uh, give only two what will happen here let's check here it is only giving two letters only because it is minus 4 po position is um, o, o here and from o to two characters what i want to uh, see only two characters if i give three it is giving one more letter to the, to the output like this okay like this the uh, substring and the next is if as discussed earlier light was seeing the same minus value and one more function is replace replace returns character with every occurrence of search string replaced with replacement string here i am replacing uh, what is uh, my uh, string is uh, jock and joy what i want to change here j j is replaced with bl wherever the j in our query it is replacing with bl so the result is jock and joy instead of jock and joy the result is black and blue let's check out here select replace jock and joy wherever uh, the letter j is replaced with bl from here invalid identifier means it is uh, we forgot to give the single quotes here that's why it is not giving the result here <coughs> see here jock and joy i am giving a jock and joy as my string but what it is giving in the output black and okay it is not taking sm uh, small letter so if you give this only 
capital letter here yes yeah black and blue okay like this uh, this uh, replace one function will work here the next is translate translate function is used to return strings with all occurrences of each character in from string is replaced by its corresponding character into to string here uh, sql start place user guide is my uh, string what i want to do here wherever the star and hash is there it is uh, translate to under underscore select translate SQL startless as my database it is translating if there uh, there is a star or I open is there that is translated with underscore see from dual from dual i'm going to execute this command so it is replacing with underscore here the same way you can use Okay, init cap upper lower. I already discussed character functions. These functions accept character values and return number values. Here, I am taking employee and table. Uh, I am. I am taking this statement and I am executing in this SQL developer. Here uh, last name, last name, it is not there in our table. So e name as per our e name as per my table, I am changing column names EMP. substring of last name substring of e name i am changing this column name only first letter where it matches with 76 it only fetches that record which record it is going to no record Suppose if I give uh, ASCII value 67, what it will give? It is giving 67 is matches with Clark. First letter. The C. It is uh, considering C. Whose ASCII value is matches with 67 is only Clark. Like this way. You can use this ASCII values also, ASCII functions. And the next is uh, in string. This is also one, one of the 
most important up here in string okay guys i am going to uh, explain you in string and uh, again uh, character functions tomorrow okay thank you for watching my video